Hi, welcome back to Self-Discovery Support. What I have today is the collective energy reading for May. So we started doing this series, uh, I think I did one last month, this month, April, and I think I'm going to try to do these for the collective. It kind of helps to organize things, you know, to have things, to have a sense of what's happening, what's happening for everybody, even as I do the fire signs, the earth signs, air signs, water signs. Okay, so if if you like the content that is on this channel, please do consider subscribing and help the channel to grow. All right, so we're going to start with a tarot message and then we're going to move into, we're going to look at some significant numbers. We're going to look at major kind of energies especially archetypal energies we're going to look at um, feelings and emotions and we're going to look at some money issues in this reading all right so we try to make it um, useful overall for everybody all right so we start off with the energy that's going to be happening it's in the air for the collective for may 2022 we have the devil we start off with that but what is good news for me is i see right next to it death then we have the two of wands then we have the three of wands so even though we start off with a card that could be difficult like the devil you know the devil is a card that talks about being bound to something that even though it may feel good in the moment we do know that this is something that keeps us stuck that keeps us bound to what we may otherwise make a different choice, right? If we if we didn't have all our issues, all our baggage clouding us, if we didn't have the attachments clouding us, we might be making different choices for us, ourselves. And you look at this card and there's, you know, there's this couple tied together. But there's almost a kind of enjoyment in that bondage, you know, like, and they can at any time free themselves. You do see that the access they have to that. So that is pointing me to the fact that a lot of people are at this point, I think, trying to weigh the baggage that is in their life and see how that, that has changed things for them. What is it that you feel bound to that you you know there are other choices to be made there are other opportunities and there's also a sense of freedom that is needed i think that's the question a lot of people are asking i think that it has become apparent that there's a kind of a general shift where people are moving to a space where they're aware of Everybody's aware of their stuff, right? There's aware awareness. You might have had relationships or connections that just have brought out some things in you that you probably aren't pleased with. Or you found out in a certain period, maybe this last year, this past month, maybe from the beginning of the year, you found out that it's just a connection that you need to to let go of this is Capricorn energy so we already have um, two major arcana we start with devil and death so that we start really strongly like there's this is a period of drastic change and drastic breaking away from the things that have kept us bound this card just really it's a strong like uh, romantic energy you know sometimes the uh, Sometimes the devil card doesn't just talk about that, but these are those relationships in your life that you know that they're they're kind of how do I say like they're good bad or they're bad good. They feel good, but they also make you feel really bad. It's like a hangover. And this is that this is exactly that this holding on to something that you know is not your highest good look at these uh, butterflies each person has the will to transform this but they stay stuck 
in this space. All right, so we look at the death card. Right after that wanting to hold back, we now have embracing new beginnings. So it's, it's at this point now we have this, whoever it is that has an attachment out there or just is in a toxic situation, that the energy is, I almost, and I feel like it's self-led. I feel like you guys are bringing this forward. It's not a matter of being saved anymore. It's people taking it up on their, on their shoulders, taking their responsibility to move forward. Okay, so... We had you have the two of wands, so that tells you that after going through this transformative period, the change is in the air. There's a kind of quick seizing on the creative elements, the the inspiration. Now that I'm free of this thing, where could I possibly go? I feel is the question in 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 minds, even in the subconscious. Right, your higher self is saying, "What if we freed ourselves from this thing?" Where could we possibly go? There's strong fire energy. We do have Scorpio as well. Capricorn, Scorpio. And then strong fire energy. There's a planning for, for wanting to make things happen. And then there's a kind of setting your goals out to see and waiting on it to come back in. Look at this. I have the energy I need to make my to realize my goals. And I feel that that energy is coming from this process that we're seeing of freeing yourself from other things that kept you occupied, right? Other things that that your energy was used on, that now you're seeing that, okay, I do need to, to change things. And that may be coming organically, that may be coming up for you. It just It just is becoming apparent to you in your life that these things need to change, all right? So I looked at the numbers. All right, so some numbers we have are 2 and 12. Now that's really interesting. We have 212. It's the number of the individual and the 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 number of partnership. But the individual sandwich between the idea of partnership. I feel that what I see here in a collective, particularly, well, there may be this, this reading is definitely going to be specific to some people in the collective more than others, but I do see that this is almost a universal shift. This is a cycle that's shifting. It's a, this is what you see here two of wands, three of wands. This is preparation. This is preparation for the new phase. And this is you taking action, right? So we do see that with welcoming in some kind of partnership in your life. This may, If this is love, that does look set to be a particularly special type of situation. 212 is um, often associated with soulmates. And 1 and 2 gives you 3. So we have the number of partnerships and we have the number of creation. So it's a letting go in order to move to something that is going to be made. It's like the energy being wound up to start the process of bringing together people, bringing you into spaces where you're going to have a kind of greater happiness, greater satisfaction. This is going to be the beginning of the creation of partnerships. Is what I'm seeing for me. And we do have two and three here again. Like I didn't even realize that, but we have the two of wands and the three of wands. That is exactly echoed right here. Two and three, two twelve. So this strong in the energy. There's a strong sense of I, I want to say like something coming in for people in the collective, whatever it is that um, their their goal was set on, but also freeing themselves from things that are toxic. All right, let's look at some of the energies um, here. We do have boredom and blame. So I do feel that um, 
this 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 devil card really aligns with this there's a process here as i said that this is i almost feel like there's a lot of tension in in people's home spaces in people's family lives in people's relationships even in workplaces there's a sense of dissatisfaction the surreal four of cups energy it's a knowing that whatever is happening now is not it's not it's not where you want to be it's not what you want to be doing it's not fulfilling right and it's just filling a hole it's filling it's almost on remote it's like a habit that you can't kick in a way i'm seeing that for a lot which is really good news for me for me as a reader because i feel that it's people transitioning into their better lives, into parts of their lives that is, is better for them. And of course, the endings, you know, the changes are always very difficult. Blame. So there's going to be tensions, right? Whoever it is that you're separating from, whoever it is that you're going towards, is definitely, um, there's a kind of blame game here. There's a real karmic energy to this, to this card. Is pe- are people dealing with karmic partners? Are people dealing with karmic situations that they do need to wrap that cycle up? And that's the death card telling you that so that you can be ready for this coming together, this creation of what you actually want, what you actually deserve. Let's look at the archetypes that we have here. Mother, knight, athlete. So I drew your cards off camera. So they could kind of get everything together. What we have is... Okay, so some of you could be filling the role of um, this the archetype that tells us about the energy, right? So some of you could be having issues with your mothers. There could be mother figures in your life. You could be becoming a mother... That could be in the, the, the air. That could be what's coming towards you. Night. And I just talked about what's coming towards you. The night is definitely something that comes in for you. Something that is bringing an energy towards you. Loyalty, romance, and chivalry. A love of honor. Okay. So this is really like, as I said, like bringing in the new. Bringing in new love. Bringing in new i mean you can't say it better romance there's there's energies coming towards people that i feel are going to be, is going to be much more fulfilling for people it's going to be much more settled mother i do feel that people in this collective have mother wounds i do feel that people in this collective might be considering motherhood athlete we do have dedication to transcending physical limits, including handicaps, development of personal willpower and strength of spirit. So yeah, it's you know it's the two of wands, three of wands energy. This is that that fire energy, that ready to go, that willingness to now overcome whatever was here. This devil and death really does seem like a real hurdle. That people have had to overcome and i think there's real shadow elements here with the blame and the boredom i think if you're in a situation and you are feeling um you listen to listen to that that dissatisfaction some of us try to push things along and say we want to make things work i don't know that i don't know why that came up but that's a message that's here as well it's just the idea that you are forcing yourself to do something that you know intuitively is not for you. Blame. And then I think uh, the word that comes up here is resentment. That just stands clearly for me. Let go. Let go of the toxicity. It's really funny, you know, um, that I'm talking about let go because we do have... Um, I did. I did the shorts. I did some shorts for the channel and what came up was a lot of messages about letting go and endings so i just feel like it's thick in the air you could cut it 
don't hang on to what does not serve you okay so i drew some other cards to do with money let's look at the money state we know what you you kind of was in the energy what types of peoples you may be dealing with you may be dealing with um i think there's romance here there's something coming towards you there's someone approaching i do feel that you are going to be given a kind of powerful position or an opportunity to show what you can do i do see that there's some issue with a mother figure or motherhood and this is something where people need to acknowledge um, their part in a situation as well as not stay stuck in a situation where people are casting blame building resentment all right because there is a two one two there's a two three there is the partnership and creation that wants to come in all right, so I drew these cards and what we have um, with money issues for people now is family and values. So I do feel that you may have learned some things, you know, either you have a kind of family background where there are issues with money and there's a certain approach that you have. There are certain values or attitudes that people have towards money that I think you are at the point, you know, there's this... this you know, it's really popular. People talk about closing, ending generational curses. Um, it's not a phrase I like really, but I do feel that this is what is laid on the table here. It's There's an approach that you've learned to do with money, your money, how you earn it, how you use it, that I feel that you are also fighting to change that. Like with the three of wands, you're, you're sowing the seeds of something that is going to come in. Yeah, you're just waiting on the ships to come in, things to align. We did get the little girl card, the f the phantoms card, and the talents card. Okay, so there's some messages here. This definitely confirms that there's something you learned as a child about how money was used, how it came, how just in its importance, its value, or whether you could have it or whether you couldn't have it. That, that's being healed. I think that may is a time for you to sort that out. Phantoms. So that definitely tells me about the fears attached to also childhood memories. So there's a lot that you're, you're processing. There's a lot you're trying to work through. And with the mother card here, that just really, and family, that just talks so much about learning habits but that you want to solve before you start your own family or know that you have started your own family you are really assessing those things um, and this last one is the thing that really stands out here and i'm so glad to see this because it's the talents it's what do you have what talent do you have that you need to tap into which of your inner qualities stepped forward in those moments What talents do you have that you could be using? That What if you let go of this idea of whatever, whatever this belief is around money, whatever it is that feels stuck, that I know I see like you're fighting to move towards something else, towards a better future. What, what, what talent would you bring? What talent do you envision working on in the future? For some of you, it's something physical. Let's go back to our archetypes cards. For some of you, it's something physical. And for others of you, there's something about being a kind of messenger. Being the person that protects. Being somebody that is honorable. So that could be law enforcement, could be law social justice work and with mother it's like caring is there something that you do that cares for the community cares for those around you all right and we're gonna get one last oracle card for you in the collective i feel this is really good news collective because I, f I just feel the energy of people, you know, just taking a cloak, you're taking a, 
Like you had on a cloak your whole life or a mask your whole life that you didn't even know it was a mask and now it's you're letting it go and you're able to see your true self. But I do feel that there's work happening in me. There's a strong sense of work happening. So you're working on it. Alright, this flew out. And it's really appropriate because it's the card that talks about all the chakras. So, and it's about the balancing of all your chakras, all your energies, all your vital energies. All things work best in conjunction with all things. Yeah. I feel this is a message for those of us who are at this juncture working to free ourselves from any toxicities, any things that are holding us back so that we can have this um, this dramatic change. It doesn't have to be dramatic. This can be over time, right? You could actually do this in time. You could just be changing slowly, bit by bit, however it works best for you. You know your situation best. Yeah, there's a lot of factors here. It's, it's trying to stay in balance. What do you need to let go in this month? Okay, I I kid you not, this card came out in every short that I pulled. So this is a strong message. And look at the back of this card. This person is going places just like the traditional three of wands that we have here in the tarot. Um, shows a person looking out to sea and the ships are coming in. This is exactly what we have here. Someone looking at the new horizons. Seeing the possibilities. And planning to go forward. Let go of the old tales and write your own adventure story. Let go of the old tales. That really tells me about these two cards. There's there's ideas that keep you stuck. Where's our little girl card? Yeah, there's things you learned that you're unlearning, you're unpicking. I mean, your family loved you. You're... Your caregivers loved you in the way they could, but you are building on that. You are in a different time and age, and you have access to things that will allow you to go forward. Write your own adventure story. That is exactly this two and three of wands energy. It's the, the energy is here. It's I think there's a, a a window of access that's opening up for you in May that. This is a time to, to drop the old and to step into the new. Anything that you felt doubtful about, but you, you feel a, a burning kind of desire to do it, go with it. Trust it because that is your, that's your higher self, your inner child, your soul. However you want to phrase it or whatever it feels like for you, that's what's talking. So I hope the best for you in me. Do subscribe. And I will see you back. Um, we're going to be doing, um, I'm thinking about doing pick a cards. I might be doing that, but I'm also going to be doing the, um, the fire, water, air, and earth sign readings. All right, take care. All the best.